Hi you guys, welcome back. I am back at you, looking a mess once again. <laughs> What's the surprise? Um, in today's video, I'm going to be using two BoxyCharm boxes. If you guys don't know, I am a BoxyCharm affiliate. I will have a link down below. And I have the, oh my gosh, what month is this? November. So I have the November box and I have the October box. And the October box, um, I just, whoop, I just spit, ew. Yeah. I just wasn't as like intrigued by it so and plus I had a lot of new product coming in that I had to like you know film with and everything so I, I honestly didn't have like have enough time for it but I also wasn't that intrigued by it in this box they had this pure palette the reverse ma or midnight masquerade it's a face palette and an eyeshadow palette and I was kind of like oh it's cute but I was like hmm not too interested with it and then they also had this don't repair don't despair repair strength and moisture leave in mask and um i don't know i just i have african-american hair so i just never would think to use something like that on it they also had this um uh, ava a uh, ava a dead sea water mineral hand cream which i would probably throw in my purse honestly and they also had the dr brandt microdermabrasion this is an age defying exfoliator which i would probably throw into a giveaway box um and then actually i was really excited to see this this is the it cosmetics superhero mascara it's one of my favorite mascaras it's just so black and lengthening like i really 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 enjoyed this mascara and the one that i have now is kind of running out so i was super excited to see that and then the kat von d everlasting liquid lipstick and bow and arrow which i already own so i will put this into a giveaway box as well um, and then for the November box, which is this month, there is a um, makeup brush cleaner, which looks like this, which you can never have too much of this. I personally like to use alcohol when it comes to um, like spot cleaning my brushes, but when it comes to deep clean, oh, I just put my finger in this, so let me put it on my eye. Um, when it comes to like, um, cleaning like actually cleaning my brushes um i use the either like the zote soap or i just got this new soap by a fellow influencer her name is jasmine r uh i forget her last name but she makes this soap and it's really nice so um i use that but let me just blend this out really quickly and set it because i just ruined my concealer on my hand all right no <laughs> that mishap uh, next is some lashes. These are the Lashaholic Luxury Lashes, and they are actually pretty light, like light and natural looking. Also, kind of wispy as well. And these are in Instaglam, and they also have like their website and everything. Um, lashes, LashaholicLashes.com, and then we have the Ace Beauté. I think it's Beauté, Beaut. Ace Beauté Grandiose Palette, which I was super excited when I saw this because I've been wanting to try some Ace um, makeup, Ace Beauté Beauty makeup because their makeup looks really good and this palette is just gorgeous. So I think I might play with like the mattes in today's video. I'm not really sure. I'm not sure, but this palette is so stunning super excited to work with that then we have the cover effects glittering drops which are um, these are weightless drops of ultra fine glitter can be used anywhere you want a lustrous glow clinically tested so it looks like this it's actually pretty intriguing I actually kind of want to just put it on the back of my hand just to see kind of how it looks So it's definitely not chunky, but it's definitely like popping. And it dries down to like a nice little matte. It doesn't feel like sticky. Like, you know, some like um, cream highlighters or whatever can look a little like sticky, but this is actually really pretty. It's actually really pretty. Hmm, I might use that today. I'm not one for like cream highlighters, but I might actually use that. Then we have a... Um, Jonte Blue Glittering Star Eyeliner. It's just in black. And then we have some Luxie eyeshadow brushes. 
to use for eyeshadow which there's like a little fluffy brush there's a, like an angled fluffy brush and two like pencil brushes so I might not get too many looks or too many uses out of those but those are the two boxycharm boxes and oh and this one was a gold or gold digger so it's basically revolved around gold which I didn't even notice but most of the products in this one had like some type of gold accent to it so I'm gonna go ahead and get started my lid is already primed and I'm just gonna start working with eyeshadow all right so I am going to take the shade cinnamon first and I'm going to take that on a Morphe M441 brush and just pop this into the crease and this is gonna be wow that's actually really pigmented it's actually really 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 pigmented <laughs> okay this is nice so far it is pretty um, powdery in the pan so there is some kickback but such a pretty shadow I actually really like this shadow this color and I know it looks washed out on camera but it's actually really popping and that's another reason why I go in with um, a lot of shadow is because when I'm looking at the shadow I'm looking at it from my viewfinders perspective as opposed to my like mirror um, so most of the time I just continue to go back in until I can like see it on camera and then by that time it's like really popping on 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 the um, what is this called the mirror it's early like literally you guys it's oh it's 1102 now but when I woke up I woke up to get the James Charles palette and it was 955 that I woke up and I was like but I got it and I paid for express shipping so <sighs> better come soon I just ordered it and I'm like it better come too now I'm gonna take the shade poppy <clears throat> which is red and I'm gonna take a JH 34 it's like a small like it's smaller more tapered than the last brush than the M441 that we use I don't remember this brush because I don't remember ever using this brush but it's actually pretty pretty nice like it's just like it's not overly fluffy but it's not super tapered either but it's perfect for just getting right here in the socket like I want it. So there is some fallout on my eye. Just want to mention that before we go on. But I'm also dipping directly into the palette and going directly onto my eye. So I'm not tapping off any excess powder. And that could be why it's like it is. So this poppy shade really overpowered the cinnamon shade that we used, which is okay. Because we'll just go back in with the previous brush and just a little bit more cinnamon and help it to blend out. But we are going to need a little bit of definition because right now there's no, it's not too much definition. But first I am going to apply um, Pacholi, which is this nude color. And I don't think I'm going to cut my crease. Mm, I probably should. I probably should. Yeah, just a little bit. So patchouli again, which is going to be very similar to my, con <sighs> my concealer color. Now, if I wanted, I could leave it just right here, but I'm going to take a little bit of sneak peek which is a, like brown shade out of this palette. This is the Pure Midnight Masquerade palette. And just use this out in the outer edge. And in the socket of the crease. Oh, 
Okay, so what I'm gonna do is use this um, Stew Liner from the ColourPop Karuchi collect collection, excuse me, and pop that onto my lash line, and I'm using a Sigma E65 small angle liner brush. Okay, I decided not to wing it because I've been doing a lot of wing looks lately, so I'm just going to leave it how it is and just make it kind of look more like it's connected as opposed to like it's eyeshadow as opposed to liner. Yeah. And then I am going to apply some mascara. The superhero mascara. I really like this mascara. Like I really, really, really like it. It's kind of expensive though, if I remember correctly. Oh, brand new tube. And I don't usually focus too much on my top lashes. When I use this mascara, I use it for my bottom lashes because it's kind of tiny enough to grip each of my lashes. And like my lashes aren't the tiniest lashes, but it does grip them and make them look really long. So I really enjoy using this on the lower lash line. But I am going to um, pop on lashes and then do my face, everything except for highlighter. And then come back so we can see how these cover effects glitter drops look. And then go from there. All right. So I haven't popped on the lashes yet because I want to do that on camera. Just kind of see how they look. First impression type of thing. But, um, actually I'm going to go ahead and glue them right now. So they aren't as fluffy as I usually like my lashes. They're kind of a little stiff, if I'm being honest. But they came in a boxy charm box, so they can't be too bad. So while my lashes are drying, I'm going to go ahead and try out the glitter drops. Um, I'm going to just like put a couple of dots on my cheek and then I'm going to blend it out with this Delazzy Large Fluff L224 brush. And boy is it pigmented. Pretty though. It's pretty, but on the camera, like, or in person, I can definitely tell that it's glitter. But it's pretty. Might have applied too much over here. But it doesn't feel like a cream on the skin, like, while I'm blending it out. It definitely doesn't feel like a cream. It definitely feels more like a like a powder, like a like a liquid to powder type of formula. That's definitely how it feels. But you can definitely see the glitter. So, what I'm going to do? It's not bad. It's not something that I think I would wear often. But I'm just gonna go ahead and pop on some of my Marc Jacobs highlighter, just like over the top. Oh wow. Okay, so definitely intensifies the highlighter. Uh, not sure how much I like that. All right. Finally about to pop these bad boys on. They're actually pretty. They kind of look like my natural lashes, but better. Okay, so I'm going to take this um, jasmine color right here and pop that into my inner corner. 
as a little pop of shimmer. Okay, so for lips, um, I think I'm gonna apply this color. This is called Plum Queen uh, by Dose of Colors. It's actually pretty dark, but we're gonna go for it. I think I've worn this color before and I really liked it. All right, and I'm gonna apply a little bit of stone in the center. All right, you guys, so this is the completed look. I think it turned out really nice. I actually really enjoy the Ace Butte, Ace Butte palette. It's really pretty. I feel like I can get like a lot of looks out of it and it's really pigmented. The only thing is it's really powdery. So like a lot of the shadows had kickback and everything. And then this Jasmine shade wasn't like super pigmented like I like my shimmers, but as I built it up, it eventually gave me a nice little, you know, amount of pigmentation. Look at eye teeth, oh my gosh. Wow, I should probably do a teeth check sometimes. Also, another thing that I enjoyed, but I don't know, you know, if, I don't know, I feel like it's something that I would have to continue to use is the Cover FX Glittering Drops. Like, it looks good on the skin and everything, but like when I first applied it before I applied highlight over the top, it kind of looked a little like sparkly glittery. If that's your skilo, you know, this would be great for it, but I think, I'm gonna have to either try it a little bit more or just kind of be like, oh, okay, it's nice, but you know, wouldn't ever use it again type of thing. Um, but yeah, I think everything turned out well. These lashes are pretty nice and natural. Once again, they're in this shade Insta Glam, I believe. But I definitely think that you guys should try out the BoxyCharm box. I have been getting BoxyCharm boxes for about a year and I show them kind of like every so often when I'm not like bombarded by either ideas that are in my head that I feel like I need to go ahead and get filmed or products that I'm getting that I need to hurry up and get a video on um, or you know whatever else it may be but when I do post my BoxyCharm boxes I definitely always 100% will recommend them it is the best subscription box package um, whatever subscription in general that you could get you get anywhere between like what is it like four to five full-size items or deluxe size items you cannot beat that like literally no other like subscription box like the uh like the ipsy the sephora play the essence like all of those out of all the ones that i've tried this is by far the best and i'm not just saying that because i'm an affiliate but i'm saying that because you get such good products every single month and really high quality products like like luxury products like i wouldn't say luxury i would say high-end products and even some you know more lower end drugstore products but most of the time they're more high-end products that you you know if you were to buy them one at a time it would be you know extremely expensive so the alter ego box the it cosmetics mascara is $24 the hand cream was $10 the pure palette is $38 the liquid lipstick from Kat Von D is 20 and the hair leave-in mask is 16 so that is 30 plus 38 is 68 And that is uh, so that's like a hundred, a hundred and eight dollars for all of these products. My math ain't all together. It's been a long time since I've been out of school, but I'm thinking that that's about a hundred and eight dollars, like for a box, and you're only paying, I think it's like twenty five dollars or something like that. I'm not sure off the top of my head, but I would definitely have the affiliate link and the regular link down below so that way you can choose whether or not you want to support me and sign up for it or if you just want to sign up for it by yourself, it doesn't matter. But I definitely suggest you trying it out. I suggest it every single time. But thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you guys very soon. Bye.